Sekena AI from Japan always come up with something interesting. This time they have just released this text to LoRa or T2L project which is a groundbreaking hyper network system to automatically generate task specific low rank adaptation or LoRa modules for large language models using only textual task description as input. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. In this video we are going to install this T2L locally and we will see how it works in a graphical user interface. But before that I think it is quite important to understand what exactly is happening in this project in simple words. So rather than requiring extensive fine tuning data sets this T2L can instantly adapt LLMs like Mistral, Llama or Jamma for specific benchmark tasks by reading a natural language description or prompt of what the model should do. For instance, sometimes what happens is that whenever you are doing fine tuning with LoRa, you have a specific task in mind. For example, you want the model to have some problem solving abilities through mathematical reasoning and that is where you create your LoRa's. So once you have that, then you generate the appropriate LoRa weights to optimize the model performance on that specific task. What this system is doing, it is demonstrating significant improvement over baseline model through diverse benchmarks. and. It is essentially enabling instant transformer adaptation without the traditional requirement for task specific training data, which makes it a powerful tool for rapidly customizing LLMs for specialized applications. And that is quite groundbreaking in my opinion. And that is why I was saying that this Sakana AI always come up with something interesting. So if you go to my channel, search with Sakana, you will see that this is the same company behind that AI scientist, AI CUDA engineer. And recently they went with this uh, uh, DGM machine, which I already have covered on the channel. So let's get this thing installed. I am running Ubuntu system and I have one GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM as you can see here. If you're also looking to rent a GPU or VM on very good prices, you can find the link to mass compute with a discount coupon code of 50% for range of GPUs. I'm going to use the UV package manager to get this thing installed. So I already have it installed. If you don't know how to do that, just search my channel. I have done a very simple to follow video. First up, I'm git cloning the text to LoRa repo and I will also drop the link to it in videos description. After that, we need to do the UV environment creation and also the self update. So you can see that I am just updating it first and then I am installing the packages from the root of the repo. This is going to take few minutes. While that happens, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are Camel AI. Camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws with applications in data generation, task automation and world simulation. And everything is installed. Next up, we need to install the flash attention and my GPU supports it. And flash attention is now installed. Next up, we need to install this custom package uh, from the root of the repo, which is fish, fish form. Okay, so that is done. Now let's log into the hugging face and we need to grab our read token from the hugging face.co. It's a free token which you can grab from your profile. Press capital Y and we are now logged in and we are doing it to download this T2L model. So let me run that. And then we can download our model by running this command. And the model is being now downloaded. And now we can launch our web demo by simply running this UV command. Okay, so now we can access it in our browser as you can see at port 7860. So it is loading the model. So let's wait for it. 
okay so our t12 is ready as it has loaded the model now what we are going to do first we are going to check the base model without generating any lora so i'm just going to give it a match question here so i'm asking it denver has three times as many horses as boston boston has five times as many horses as miami how many horses do denver boston and miami have together if miami has 12 horses so this is what we are going to use it for i'm just going to go down here and press enter so you see that it is generating the answer here let's wait for it so it says 252 horses and which is a correct answer so what i'm looking to do here i am just looking to see if model generates the wrong answer then we will generate a lora with the help of this t 2 l with a text prompt and then we will see so maybe let's try out another one so i'm just going to go with another city around sheeps that um, how many sheep this toulouse Char charleston and toulouse have in seattle so let's see how it goes So I have tried few prompts and this one is where it is the model is giving the wrong answer. So model is saying $1.39 whereas the correct answer is $1.60 per cupcake. And this is the prompt which I have used. Now I cannot force a model to do the wrong answer. So let's hope that this works. Anyway, we will get the semantic of what exactly we are doing. So this is a base model which has generated a wrong math uh, answer. So now um let's say we want to you know generate a lora uh, you know which would be math specific so that it generates a good answer so just click on this generated lora and then just maybe take this text prompt you can have your own text prompt for the maybe math you know whatever task you're doing so i'm just going to say okay this task challenges your problem self solving ability through mathematical reasoning click on generate lora and it is going to uh, generate it has already generated the lora as you can see and i selected it you can even download the active lora which is uh, and you can use it wherever you like they even have given you this code which you can use in order to use this newly uh, done lora there okay so <clears throat> sorry so i'm just going to now so active lora is this which is good i'll go down and i'm just going to give it this bakery prompt again to see how it performs it's a very simple sort of interface okay while it runs let me quickly check the v, uh, vram consumption so it is consuming touch over 17 gig of vram okay let me close this and there you go you can see that it has now the new lora has now produced the correct answer so pretty good i would say for me i think whatever saves cost is really attractive and this t2l uh, eliminates the need for expensive time consuming fine tuning by instantly generating task specific lora adapters from just a text description and you can adapt any supported llm not all of the llms are supported but mostly mistral lama chema are supported um so maybe if you have a specialized task like math reasoning or coding you can just do it in seconds by using this technique so let me know what do you think about this project i'm quite uh, excited about this please like the video and share it and if you haven't already subscribed please do so as it helps a lot thank you for all the support and watching